The world of sport has ground to a halt as a result of the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic. Football leagues around the world have put their seasons on hold until further notice, with the exception of Belgium, where, the, where Percy Tau's clubs, Bruges, were crowned champions. However, in South Africa, a lot of uncertainty remains as to what happens next. CGT and CS Duplessis has more. The Premier Soccer League came to an abrupt stop after the PSL chairman, Dr. Ivan Causa's announcement on March 19th, stating that until the green light from the South African government, no football activities would take place, leaving the league's conclusion up in the air and the players in limbo. In terms of longevity in the game, for sure, the, the football laws are going to have to be rewritten, and that's probably across all sports. Um, so very uncertain times. We don't know what's happening tomorrow. And we don't know what's going to be happening in the future competitions. We've still got cups to go on in the South African Premier League. We've still got the league to be finished. So very, very interesting times ahead. Roberts, a former goalkeeper for clubs like Crystal Palace, Mamelodi Sundowns and Ajax Cape Town, has told his players to use the time of lockdown wisely and to improve themselves. It's a time to sit. It's a time to reflect. It's a time to, to go within and see where we as, as individuals can improve ourselves. Um, and I've told the boys as well is that you, know, you may not be the most talented of players, but there's nothing stopping you from coming back now to their, their mini preseason as the fittest. So I hope they're going to take that on board now and really, really work on themselves going forward. With European clubs discussing reducing players' wages, Robert says it's tough for South African clubs who aren't in the financial position of Kaiser Chiefs, Orlando Pirates and Mamelodi Sundowns to follow suit. I think it'll be very tough for players or teams to implement um, a wage cut going forward uh, because of the coronavirus. I honestly can't see that happening, to be honest. I just don't think the majority of players um, outside the top five or top six teams could actually afford it. Um, you know, nothing's been put in place from the top, from the PSL. There's no savings plan in place for these guys. So now you can't expect them to all of a sudden take wage cuts. The conclusion of the season remains a big topic of debate, but so is the idea of matches behind closed doors, a scenario that is not ideal, especially for the football fans who flock to stadiums week in and week out. We don't want the games to be played behind closed doors because there's just no game feel. You know, the sponsors won't be getting their bang for the buck. Um, the players won't feel like they're playing for, you know, anything worthwhile, if, if, if that's fair to say. But it might come that we have no choice for the games to play behind, behind closed doors. There's no doubt that football will be forever affected, be it financially, the way fans watch the game, or the way players interact. Who knows? One thing is for sure, though, the sport that offers hope to millions with each fixture will return. Maybe not anytime soon, but it will return and will once again capture the imagination of fans all over the globe who sorely miss the beautiful game. CS2 plus C, CGTN, Johannesburg.